We're good? Yes, we're good to go. Jesus Christ. Talk about no prep whatsoever. So welcome to episode two of the Off Center Archers podcast. This is Stephanie. And I'm Anthony. And this episode is brought to you by New Year, New Me. Everyone's switching gears this year. New Year. You went full blown <laughs> like this is the resolution podcast or whatever the fuck it's no, called. No, 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 no. This is not the resolution podcast. Okay. This is New Year, New Me. New bow I'm shooting, and everyone's playing oh, about musical to say, no. chairs. Stephanie does not have a new bow for anyone who misunderstood that fucking quote. Now you're just going way above beyond. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have, uh, actually, as we're talking, everyone probably already knows what's been going on. Unless you live under a rock. Okay. And then we can just explain it to you. That's fine. Let's explain it. Because <laughs> half the people I had to explain shit to on Instagram and all the other fucking ones. It was like, oh, I never thought of it that way. Well, no, I'm not talking about that. So oh. a lot has been going on with people switching, but there's no no issues with switching. I think everything no, going on is actually a nice breath of fresh air for a lot of people. I agree. So the one big one that I'm talking about. Oh, we're just going to dive right into Yeah, it. we're going to dive right You didn't even like give an intro, except for this is the episode, so we're just going to go. Intro. Um, hashtag not sponsored by Tito's. Not sponsored by Tito's. Which hashtag. Is, which we're so stealing that hashtag. Sponsoring myself, shooting skulls. There you go. Plug yourself. Yep. I'm going to plug. That sounds absolutely awful. Yes, 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 yes. Because especially <laughs> since you're a female. Yes. Um, <laughs> but I'm married, so I'm not going to plug myself. Well, once a, a week out of the month, you kind of do. No, I'm going the other way about that. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, no. Uh, breaks. Oh, go ahead. No, seriously, though, if you go to Shooting Skulls, at, uh, wait, shootingskulls.etsy.com or on Instagram, shooting underscore skulls. Right. I do lots of stuff. Very lots Slings, of stuff. Slings, spinal straps. Dog, dog collars, collars and leashes. Call lanyards. Oh, duck call lanyards now. Yeah. Yes, and if yes. you don't see it and you just ask me, I'll most likely make it. Pretty much, yeah. Unless it has a customs issue or the actual bow strap, the, the carrying strap. I've gotten, after tack that I made that one, and I really didn't like how it was sitting. I didn't like the adjustable on it. Right. I'm not making those because I don't like the way the ones out there, the generic ones sit or connect to the bow. Right. I don't like how they adjust, and I just I don't want to make them just to make them. Right. So right now I'm not doing those because I, you know, once I get a hair up my ass to figure something out, mm -hmm. I won't just do generic shit just to do it. Right. I got to face. So that's, that's my new thing that I'm trying to well, uh, no, figure out. That, um, in, in, in some cases, that's not really true. I mean, because like what? The, the duck call lanyard. But that's easy. No. Yeah. But at first you were like, oh, this is a bit intimidating. We don't, we don't do anything with ducks. And then. You looked up a bunch of shit, and we ran by, like, Cabela's and fucking Bass well, Pro and whatever. We took a bunch of, you know, images and shit of what their generic garbage is a nice way to put it. Because, you know, it's not garbage because some people was. just like the generic whatever. Yeah, yeah, but, but here's the thing. They were I, finishing the ends of the fucking cord with cardboard and glue. It's fucking hot garbage. Listen. Okay. Hot garbage. I probably go a little bit above and beyond what a normal person would okay. do. Okay, and that's I mean, why honestly, I consider all that hot garbage. Even okay. the slings. Remember a lot of the guys were like, oh, I used to do slings, but people were too picky. Yeah. But I'm on the side that, you know, you should be picky. If you're going to be picky about everything else, but if you're the one making it, you don't want to put it in the effort because you don't think everyone else should be picky, then I think that's a little hypocritical. I agree. Absolutely. But I enjoy doing it. Right. So, yeah, with those, I have to figure out I don't like the way they are now. And I didn't like the way it sat when we were walking through the woods with it. So. Well, you were. I, I had my bow over my neck. Man, no, I know. But I, some people like to have the sling, especially when you're doing target, like the courses where it's not yeah, actually. Yeah, if you're doing in tack the woods, or the R100 or. This. Not even tack. I'm talking about some of the courses, like when we were in Florida, that actual archery, the. Um, not the Iron Man, the one they did next day that I was able to shoot. The 3D event, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a course like that where it's all flat, you're not really walking through anything, right. kind of easy peasy. Yeah, but all those shots are so close together. That strap comes in handy on an event like TAC, where it's like, I have a half a mile or more Listen, to the next fucking target. It doesn't matter because those guys had chairs. 
Yeah, well, to yeah. Sit on in well, between. there was also some, yeah. Well, the guys you're talking about had 30 inch stabilizers on a hunting experience event. So yeah, I know. But so I gotta get that figured out. But if you're interested, go visit my Etsy shop, or you can send me a message on Instagram and say, "Hey, I want these colors and this," and then I'm like, "Okay." And you've done a couple of them that are pretty recently that are kind of like high profile people, which is really, really cool. Yeah. So Um, it's really cool. I actually. I wasn't going to mention who it was. No, I, I, you know what? I won't either. Don't say his name, but you could say what he is. Like, uh, so yes, a, uh, a baseball player recently asked me to, and you're giving me a swivel. Yeah. Point the microphone more towards you. you you Yes. Yes. You you were drifting a bit. Okay. Stop. All right. So. So a baseball player, major league baseball ma- player, major league, and you know he uh, actually he he got a hold of me. He sent me a message said I would like these and these colors, and you know he had a little check box check mark by his name and Instagram. Right. And I'm like, what the mm-hmm. hell is this? I'm like, it's a fan page, right? And then I looked and I was like, oh shit, it's actually him. Well, it was more like, what does this blue check mark mean? It no, 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 no. I knew the check mark, uh, but I thought it was a fan page. I was like, what the. F- what is this? What no, is this nonsense? Checkmark means verified. It means I know. it's not a fucking fan page. So I actually looked and I was like, oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. And then I looked up clips and I was like, oh, okay. He's actually legit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> it's a baseball player that actually got two of my slings and he was happy with them. He posted some nice pictures too. He really, Well, yeah, you posted them on your yeah. Instagram, yeah. Yeah. He took some really, really cool shots on uh, what he's, one bow is a Hoyt and I believe the other one's a bow tech that he has. He has two different bows. Yeah. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. Very cool. Yes. Very, very cool. And, uh, but, so that's a positive and I mean, it's, my stuff's getting more. I don't pay for advertising, so it's all no, yeah, everything word is... of mouth or just me on Instagram, stuff like that. Well, you post also like pretty much every day, some, yeah. sometimes multiple times a day. <laughs> you put all the images in the story and shit. And... I try to. And, you know, I have to give a lot of props to the people who continuously get my stuff because, you know, it, it's a lot when someone get something from you and they like it and they keep mm-hmm. getting, you know, more and more from you. And, you know, I try to give... So, you know, a, a better deal to the people who've been doing Yeah, the repeat multiple. customers. Yes. Yeah, because it's really cool. You got someone who actually legit likes your stuff and they're not just trying to, you know, have all these people want sponsorships from these big companies and they're mm-hmm. like, yeah, 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 I just want free shit. It's nice when people actually share your stuff. And oh, so, yeah, yeah. you know, that's actually been a lot of the, how I get my um my shop around i should say well that's good i mean the, the even your the duck lanyard part alone i mean that was pretty much one dude asking for it yeah and then all of his buddies wanted them so like that word of mouth has been working plus i mean obviously you're doing the instagram thing yeah and we have the apps on the phones all set up where it automatically shares to fucking twitter and tumblr and facebook and fucking whatever else well but here's the thing though i treat you know what i when people ask me for certain things <clears throat> i try to treat them the way i would like to be treated when i spend your money well my money that's the same shit well no at this point you you're <laughs> in the black on your Yes, that was a so joke, meaning I'm the wife that the, spends the all your money. The money that I help kind you of invest it. in. I understand what it is, but people, <laughs> I don't want people to think it's that way anymore. I mean, But it's funny. You, know, you started this whole thing with making slings where it was like, I'm going to make our slings, and yeah. then I'm going to make Dougie's sling, and I'm going to make whoever else's fucking, our friend's sling, and oh, we're going to go to the Iron Man shoot in Florida. I'm going to make a bunch of them and see if I sell any. Well, it's fun. I like I like doing it. Right. And that, it's became like a way for you to clear your mind and shit like that. And all of a sudden it's like, I can actually do this. I'm good at this shit. Mm-hmm. And I make other people's stuff look like trash, which is true. I mean, no, if you look I'm at the Facebook to, pages. I'm not here to put down anyone else's no, stuff. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm not the here to work bash other people's part, work. Like, when, you, when I look at the stuff that's on Facebook, you can see people's stuff is like, it's all the same generic shit. Is really what it is. And I, I know we've said that a hundred, in my opinion, I've said it a hundred fucking times. And I think a lot of other people's stuff is, is just the same generic shit. It's the all the same stuff. fucking weaves. It's yeah. all the same micro cord stitching. You know, I'm sorry, but if you're my, in my opinion, if, if you like it cool on you, whatever, but that whole barbed wire look. I don't like that one. On the fucking slings. It's about as lame as the dudes who get barbed wire tattooed on their fucking arm. And I have two sleeves full of fucking tattoos. Hey, man, if you're all about so, the 90s. You yeah, but it was, the 90s. it was lame in the fucking 90s. 
<laughs> it was lame in the fucking. It was good 90s. for about a year. You know, it, yeah, pro- <laughs> maybe, maybe no, I don't even know about a year because I know months? a fucking tattoo artist when I lived in New York City. They were like, "Oh, you want to get one? I want to get a bar bar tattoo. Get the fuck out of my tattoo <laughs> shop." You know, it's it, like it, playing Stairway to Heaven. In a yeah, yeah, you go to shop. Guitar <laughs> Center and fucking play Stairway to Heaven. They're like, "Get the fuck out get now, <laughs> bitch." Everyone thinks that whole joke from Wayne's World is a joke. It's serious. They will kick you out of a fucking music store if you play Stairway. They have I need signs to learn that it. say no stairway. I need to learn it just to go into each guitar place and start playing it to see a tally of how many times I get kicked out. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like if you're a <laughs> bass player and like for me playing bass and shit like that, it, it's like stairway on guitars. And then if you can play My Name is Mud on a bass, yeah. you're going to get thrown the fuck out of my <laughs> store. And I could play My Name is Mud blindfolded. I can play My Name is Mud and DMV from Primus and like all oh, a bunch of these fucking weird songs and shit from them. And it's like, as soon as I hear that, dun, 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 they're like, get the fuck out. No, 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 no. This is not happening. <laughs> so, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know. I like doing it. Yeah, You know, I found my niche. You're good at it. That's the thing is you're good at it. You give people, you know, people and ask it's... you, well, can you do this? You yeah. know, you're missing a color. Like, you go, like, beyond. There's no bitching. There's no whining. Oh, look. How about you put this micro stitch with this and this accent with that and blah, 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 blah. And you, you give people what they want is basically what well, it is. Well, because I feel like you spend so much money on your bows and then you go to all this length for the accessories. But then this seems to be a spot where people are like, eh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, it might I mean, be a small spot and it's not yeah, but as still, high tech as any of the other stuff. But you know, I feel it, like it's just. It's horrible to say, but when you think of now, especially with the veins and the wraps and the fucking slings and the the sights, all it is is like dudes who are into bows who don't want to admit it, but they're ricing the living fuck out of their bow. Okay, you guys. And they all, would just put stickers all over. Yeah, it. but they make fun of the guys with the Hondas. Like, oh, look at that fucking exhaust can. Look at that sling on your bow, bro. Look, or, look at that. The the, the 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 purple arrow rest you have on your bow from QAD. Mm. I mean, all that, that's what you're doing, too. huh? Spot hog. Spot is purple. has red. Not spot hog. Spot hog is purple. Well, yes, the wise guy releases purple. Yeah, I was thinking of trophy takers arrow rest. They have a black oh, one, a red one, and some sort. No, of I was shit. just thinking of spot hog in general. They're purple. Yeah, but it, that's what it is. It, it's 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 like ricing a, ricing something out for rednecks. Yeah. Is what the fuck it is. So, and I don't care. I'm I'm all along with that shit. I mean, me and Doug and, and Donnie, we all have, uh, you know, limb savers and bow jacks and. And fucking, instead of stickers to make it faster, you just dip your riser you're like American flag. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fuck, picked so up twenty FPS. Shit. That's probably the next future of the uh, the inertia when I have the the actually yeah. the riser dipped as the American flag. Man, I keep forgetting yeah, to. And, and it's bad enough because I think I, well, how many American flags are we up to in the house right now? A bunch. Every time a I five, practice six? one, six. You got to hang two of them. I buddy. have to hang the big one. You bought a th- three or four foot American flag for our bedroom. It's like, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna smash it for the glory. You know, what the fuck? Yeah, how many other <laughs> guy in here is like, yeah. yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta salute the flag while you're banging it out or something. Hey, honey, can we put this flag up? Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. though, there's not a lot of women that are really into. Hey, whatever. You're you're very patriotic. So am I. So, all right. So the news that has been going on in archery, which kind of has a little bit of people up on end. There no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, we're not going to that far. So, no, 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 we are. But they're not up on end. We got one company singing the breakup songs and crying <sighs> while they're saying okay they're okay they're okay but then they go home and they eat a pound of chocolate and eat a, a whole tub of ice cream they're just crying in front of like a romantic <laughs> they're in the background crying <laughs> saying it's okay it's okay <laughs> it's okay and the other guy's like yeah fuck yeah moved on yeah fuck yeah you, you controlling bitch yeah 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 so it, it, it is funny i mean because right now uh, it's two major people. One is fucking. One's like a, a star YouTuber, collegian type. Well, they're both YouTubers. Technically. Okay, Dudley left Hoyt. Oh, no, well, the, no, two people left Hoyt. Yeah, but Dudley's the big one. Yes, but everybody know. A lot of people know who Chris B is. Chris B left Hoyt for Matthews. Not a lot of people know who Chris B is. Most of the people I do, that right. I know, know. Who but he I'm is. saying in in order of knowing, oh no 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 no, you got yeah. most like ninety percent of the shooters out there. Oh no, if you do archery, like ninety five percent of you guys know who Dudley is. Right. And then Chris B is like, yeah, he's on the 60%, 70%. I would say 60. 
Because you have to kind of be into following. Well, Chris a lot B, of you 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 find a lot of people that know who Chris B is mm -hmm. know his about his friend Kelby. won the tack truck last year. Yes, yes, the the Leopold truck. Yes, yeah. his friend did the hundred and fifteen yard fucking inside out twelve ring. Yep, and he thought it was a joke. Right. Um. But also, uh, Chris B is also involved with Kelby from Ultraview. Right. So. They're buddies and shit, and Kelby's like two hours from here in Atlanta. Um, and he makes a badass sign. Apparently now, from the, the, the shit that they're showing online, mm -hmm. I got to pay attention to Ultraview, because it, apparently they will be releasing a Hunter scope in the Ultraview setup. Single pin or multi-pin? Single pin. Really? Yes, which has my fucking interest, because I, I can. I already plan on swapping the HHA and Well, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Rewind. You know... You've been on me about getting a new site. Why don't I just try that out? Try what out? The, their new site. No, it's just the scope. Oh, all right. So, so it's going to be like you site. can take an, a, a, uh, an Excel Achieve, which a lot of people hunt with, whatever. Correct. And instead of putting the Excel site on it, you can put an UltraView site on it. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about they're making a whole new... No, no. From what I understand, it's just a hunter scope. Like, their tournament scope is, like, fucking stupid long and because it has, like, it, it's... There's no need to put a shade on it. It has a shade built in. That's why it's so fucking big. Right. So, but apparently now they're making a hunter one, which is going to have, you know, attachments and shit and whatever. Right. So, which is really, really interesting because I, I really, really do like the UltraView for when it would come to like a tournament shooting, like and get one of those in an inch and three eighths or something, you could fucking just wreck shop with it because that pin just is stupidly screaming bright. Right. Um. All right. So back back to fucking point losing. <laughs> so shit. apparently, twenty twenty is the year for new year, new me, yeah, new yeah. bow. People are screaming in the decade. Man, I gotta say, so so it was a big big thing this weekend. I noticed. Between Dudley's posts and Hoyt's posts and after 15 years, we loved you and we'll always love you. And, right. you know, and that's, you know, as a company and he's been with them for so long, that is good for them. But mm -hmm. they kind of have to put that persona out there because if they say, well, then fuck you, then they're just going to destroy themselves. Oh, yeah. You can't, you can't do that to yourself, mm -hmm. especially with that. That person who has that kind of background in archery, who's been doing it for that long, who does that all these builds, man. that influence, yeah, you'd be just, it would be suicide to tell him to go fuck himself and, you know, leaving us and, you know, so they kind of had to and people are like, oh, it's so great of you. And they kind of had to. Yeah. It's just plain yeah, and yeah. simple. They had had to. And honestly, because we were talking about before that the contracts with Hoyt, if you're sponsored by Hoyt, and since we're not sponsored by Hoyt, it's not 100% no, true. No, we're not sponsored by the purists. Shocker there. Shit. <laughs> so, you know, it's, uh, it's all hearsay of what you, you hear. But from what we talk about when we go, when you and me are going back and forth. Right. Is the fact that <clears throat> the contract with Hoyt is so strict that you can't really, especially if you're an influencer, some of the, the higher influencers. Yeah, it's like hours of no one problems. else. Yeah, you can't mention anyone else. You can't do any more build. You can't do builds for other people and, and advertise it. You can't do this. You can't do that unless it's Hoyt. And that's kind of, especially with Dudley. He's such a great, uh, you know, teacher for mm -hmm. archery in general. Yeah, he's he earned that title of guru for all, a fucking reason. Yeah, he does all these builds. He's shot for how many years? And, you know, for him not to be able to broadcast any builds for any other companies, even if he's, even if he shoots a Hoyt and he's happy with the bow and he still says like, you know, Hoyt this, I like Hoyt that, blah, blah, blah. But he still says, yeah, I just did this build in like Bowtech or PSE and, right. in this setup. Mm -hmm. And this is what I think would work if you're shooting this. I think it's kind of crappy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's a restrict someone... Well, I, I see, can. that's what I wonder, because, you know, you see what he does online, like right. all the images and stuff he broadcasts, like, you know, building Joe's bows and building uh, Andy Stump's bow and Jocko Wilkes's bow and all the bows he built, you know, they're all fucking Hoyts. Right. They are, you know. I think they have to be. That's the thing. Can I get to that fucking point? Oh, my bad. I just and that was, that was my exact point, though, <laughs> you know. 
maybe he i mean because of those contracts and stuff where you're ob- you're obligated to that mm-hmm. who knows he may have built someone a monster pse or i mean he worked for matthews so you know damn fucking well he could probably build the dog shit out of a fucking matthews you know it, it, it's just and from now what it seems in his newest podcast this new company he's dealing with and everything like that it opens it up they're not giving him restrictions you know they're not and but they're also he he mentioned in it that they're also allowing him to give feedback for the bows to be better whereas yeah. before from what i understand he was not allowed to do that it was here's the fucking bow and we're done yeah which i mean unless you're either dudley or hoyt or the owner of hoyt and you guys are talking together Everything is hearsay. Everything is I heard this or I heard right, that. Right, you, exactly. You're not. It's not factual unless you're either Hoyt themselves, the owner right. who does the contracts, or Dudley mm-hmm. or his wife, his wife, yeah, wife. Sharon. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, it's all of what you hear. Right. No, I agree. Which, it's, it's, you know, and I'm glad for him. I mean, he, the market has opened up to him so more now, like even his switch from Under Armour to Sitka. Yeah. You know, it, it, there was more opening available or, 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 you know, more shit readily available to him to showcase stuff and, you know, get out there more often, whatever. So that door, one door closed and a bigger fucking door opened when he yeah. switched from Under Armour to Sitka. So now that's what I'm hoping happens now with him leaving Hoyt and going to another company. Now from listening to the podcast that he just recently did his new one, I think it was called Bittersweet, some shit, whatever. Well, it's hard after 15 years. To... Right, and that's what his point was. Like it was a hard decision to do, but it, I, I had to get myself out of like, you know, in this closed environment and I had to be able to expand and blah, 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 blah. And this, like I said, then this new company is going to allow me to put input into the bows and there's going to probably be like a Dudley line, which everyone, as soon as they heard that, they were like, oh, fuck. You there's, know, if there's going to be a Dudley line. There's not just going to be a keep hammering bow that we're going to have an official Dudley bow. That means if Dudley, you, and you know, for a fact, if Dudley signs his fucking name to it, that bow is going to be the shit. Joe Rogan's going to have a Dudley bow and a keep hammering bow. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what, and that's the other rumor that's fucking freaking out right now that's on Instagram and all the Facebook pages is, is Joe going to stay with Cam? That type of shit? Or is he going to follow the dude that builds his bows to the fucking hill Listen, wherever he goes? I don't think it's a picking sides. I'm, I think he would shoot both. Equally. I think he would, but I think if if you were to give a bow like from Cam, you know, it's probably not going to, I mean. Well, he was top equally by both of them. Who? No, 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 no that's not my point. Like when Cam gave gives Joe a bow, yeah. it's like I pulled it out of the Hoyt box. Here's the bow. Yeah. When he gets a bow from Dudley, that bitch is in time. No Cam lean, 82 pounds, fucking to Joe's spec to the fucking hill. If it's, well, it's not half inch draw lengths, it's, oh, Joe, Joe's a fucking 27 and three, seven eights. Dudley will do the twist in the string to get it to the exact draw length. Listen, but you were talking about a hunter, Cam, who's really good at what he does. Yes. He has a lot of passion in what he does, and he's very willing to share whatever he knows with everyone. Right. Which is, you know, it, I mean, uh, you know, for people like to do that is very rare. Mm-hmm. And then you get Dudley, who's more on the like the mad scientist kind of. Yeah, that's spec a good. Shit. That's a good way to fucking describe him. He and is a mad is, scientist behind a bow press. He is more on the uh, the build side of it, the technical side, yeah. the specs and what you need and what you shoot and what to go with and tweaking this and tweaking that and form and so I mean. Neither one is better than the other. They're just in different. They're they're different sections of the the whole group. Mm-hmm. Is what it is. Yeah. So I mean, there's nothing better about one than the other. It's just, just no, two different it's, areas. It's, if it's you a, want a build that's more specific to you specifically, then Dudley's the way to go. Yeah. But as that, a that's hunter the point, though, who is... has more experience of just going on a hunt, I would I would think Cam is a is a good way to go, but. For him learning from both of them, yeah, especially Joe, hearing this podcast, I think he gets input from both of them equally. He does, but Joe is such a perfectionist, he's yeah. not going to want, he shouldn't want an out-of-the-box bow. 
No, he and I'm want sure he goes to Dudley cost- anyway to have it. Yes, I know that's, that's your point. The I know. Point. That's your point. Okay, that's that's <laughs> the point. Is that Dully puts his bow to specific shit for Joe, specifically for Joe. The bow is not meant to be shot by anyone else because yeah. it's specific to him. Yeah. You know, so it's I don't know, man, and and people are like, oh, if, if Joe fucking. Uh, doesn't shoot Hoyt anymore. Hoyt's going to go out of business, not and, going out which of I think business. is it's it is a it's a very huge speculation because people are like, well, you know, they still have Hush and they have Mountain Ops, and my stupid ass has to be like, um, maybe y'all should watch some Mountain Ops videos because Jordan Harbertson's has been shooting a fucking Matthews over the last year. But here's the thing, Hoyt and is we not, love Mountain Ops by the way, ignites yeah. the shit. <laughs> Hoyt is not held up by. A uh, hand, a small handful of people. Yeah, but this last year they also had that. You know, people were complaining. Oh, I had to wait twelve weeks for my bow. Oh, I had to wait well, thirteen, fourteen. And their weeks price for my is bow. also a lot more expensive right. than and, other. You people, know, they have a two hundred dollar MSRP markup over the rest of the fucking market. It seems, and you know, it's it's just you know, right now. There's a lot. I mean, yeah, they lost Chris B. That may make a bigger effect in the collegiate zone because that's where Chris is. Right, but. You know, when you think about the hunters at large, pretty much everyone knows what knock on or should know what fucking knock on is. Yeah. I mean, if you haven't gone through the school of knock shit when it comes to building your bow so you can learn your own D loops and all that nonsense and, and form and, and yeah, and the other school of knock where he did twelve weeks just based on your shooting and form and And I still know. hammer the the release. Yeah, and you're uh, shoot, 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 fire, 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 fire. Hashtag <laughs> hammer for life. Hammer for <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I don't know. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of shit talking going on right now. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what happens in from listening to the podcast that Dudley did and his wording while he spoke. He's going to PSC. In my opinion, he's going to PSC. Because Ooh, imagine he, if he was like, oh, I tricked y'all. I'm going to Matthews. Well, some people are like, oh, they listen to the episode, but apparently they, people who listen to the episode didn't actually listen to the fucking episode. Or Botech. Huh? Yeah, people are like, oh, no, he's going to go to Botech or Prime. I'm like, motherfucker. He, he specifically mentioned the Icon Prime. series. Who's been on the Icon series? Jocko Wilkes, Andy Stump. You know, there's only been one bow manufacturer. In the Icon series, and that was Pete Shepley, him fucking self, Mister fucking PSE. Yeah. So, you know, if you're gonna that would be a good make that PSE. reference, it kind of leads like PSE took him, which is great. It's, now, if Dudley mm-hmm. can add on to the shit that PSE is doing, you know, fucking great. If you look at the past year of how PSE has been with uh, influencers and oh, PSC advertising, has ramped that shit up to the fucking moon. They right have, now. and man, if they've been working on something undercover, and this is what it led, led up to, yeah, then props to them, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's because... what I think. I, I think this has been in the works for a while because I mean, if you look at the Icon series episode John did, that was back in October. Yeah. So I have a feeling like you know. Well, these contracts don't happen overnight. They, right, it, right. It takes the contract months. was up December thirty first, midnight. Blah 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 blah. So I have a feeling that this was already in play and yeah. John was like, okay, I have to see what my options are. So he was dating and he's like, man, yeah, yeah. I still PSC feel lonely. Was the mistress on the side. And he was looking, looking, looking. He's like, yeah, let's go out for some coffee. Okay, let's yeah. talk a little bit. And he's like, I, I feel so connected to you. All right. Well, it took to December 31st to get up the courage. Yeah, say, yeah. you know what? We need to break up. Oh, damn. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting. Yes. So and then I, think so. I wonder, wait, was last year was he at ATA last year for at any of the booths? I know yeah, Cam Haynes course. goes to the booths. Yeah, yeah. He, and I he's there like every year. At what booth though? I don't that that's where they're Whoa. saying it's gonna be announced this coming week Whoa. of who he's gonna go with. Because it's so this I'm upcoming expecting weekend. to see PSE's track the trailer that they shove in the Whoa. building that Tells everybody like, ha, ah, look at you bitches got a booth. We got a truck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, step up your game, slackers. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. You know, 
the channels that do all the ATA coverage are probably going to be racing. Soon. Oh, I have no doubt oh. about that. I cannot wait to Lancaster's see. Lancaster's like, going to be like, hey, we're over at the blah, yeah. blah, 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 archery tent. Yeah, exactly. Not PJ, tent, the guys from bowhunting.com, uh, Lewis from fucking Archery Talk. I'm just going to be sitting here like, please release videos. I feel like this is the ATA is like the fashion week for men. For art, yeah, for archery, yeah, it pretty much is. I mean, I mean, if you well, look no, at it, no, like because this the year, gun show is the same month in January. Shot Vegas, show, shot, shot show. show is the twentieth to the. I think right now, if I went to shot to show, the, I'd want the only thing the reason I would go to shot show right now is either to meet demo mat or man spot. That's it. Even you shock is to be at the shot show. I, I really don't care. Yeah, no, she's well. No, there's nothing. I, I want to like. meet her dad. Yeah, he's you know her dad. You know, you know Jim Shockey's. He's like super well known. Yeah, I know Eva Shockey's well known, and she's got her Cabela's line of the the. the and they got a reality TV show now. Sh- who does Eva Shockey? Really? Yeah, it's like the the country fam- family. <sighs> Just think of a Canadian name, and then there you go. <laughs> what? Just because her husband's an ex hockey player. They're all Canadian. Are they? Yeah, they are. Well, they live in North Carolina. Hey, f- so. Oh, whatever. We live in South Carolina, but was I born here? No. No, you were born in Cracker, the only, Florida. The only native here is our daughter. <laughs> yes, that is very true. Yes, our, our daughter is the only one. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. But I, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. You know, I still, I want to, I do want to shoot the new PSEs, especially that NXT 33. That's the one that's got my interest. Um, I, even though right now I am shooting the Halon 32, I really like the Halon 32. There's a lot of bows I have, we haven't shot yet. Yeah, there's a lot, very much so. Even talking about Bowtex recently, I haven't shot any like the oh, Bowtex that, that X series. What the f- is it? Result? No, result is the, the resolve. It's an R. You made the joke about rebirth, and I said if they steal your <laughs> rebirth idea, I want a free bow. They bet. Well, if both if someone from Botech that high up actually listens to us, then more props to them. That's fucking cool. Order a sling, I'll give you a discount. Yeah, <laughs> order a sling. It's like like the people from uh, AAB that ordered shit from you. AAB, you want to get or that ABB. again? ABB. Oh fucking yeah, Christ. ABB. AAB. What the fuck is AAB? Nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Jesus Christ. Whatever, man. Okay. Are you supposed to be the rain man of archery products? No, I'm not the rain man of archery products. No, you're, the ra- you're just the rain man. No, I'm not the rain Four, man. I'm five, just, nine, twenty three, six, nine, eight, queen, queen, king, queen, queen. The revolt. Queen. Revolt. There it is. <laughs> the revolt X is the one. Is also a 33, which I'm like, fuck, that's sexy. 33 inch. Ooh, that's a hunting bow from hell for me. No, I need something more compact, small for my T Rex arms. Yes, you do. Trust me. I, I like I am, my verdict. I am so glad. No, yeah, but no, 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 no. What do you mean, no? So I like glad my you haven't shot the VXR 28 because I think you'd be like, fuck this verdict. It's out. No, I'm not like that. I know. No, that's bullshit. You were like, I don't want to shoot it. No, like, because you show me those commas and the price again. I'm like, I don't yeah, want to spend money. Right now, you could transfer a bunch of shit because it's the same arrow rest. You would just have to sell your bow and get the VXR 28. Mm, no. Nice, compact. You can get the 25 and a half inch draw because Matthew's run dog shit fucking long. No, 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 no. I see a comma in my wallet, like, clenches. It's a duck's ass. It's watertight. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, no, I, I like my verdicts. I like to stay with that for a little while. Okay. And then we'll see. You ain't gonna do the Matthews. Got to jump ship. Got to get the new hotness. It's fucking nice. Got to get the we new. We still gotta hotness. watch ATA though. So, but I need a sight. <laughs> the next thing I need is a sight. Yes, I know you need a sight. Trust me. But I'm very picky with my sights. Yes, I know. You know, I'm very picky about switching. That's like so, you know the other day because you you like that uh, the CBE Hybrid One I think it's called. Yeah, the Saluda had him, and then he he sells out. He, of his no, stuff he so sells out of that one fast. He keeps like the threes and five pins in stock, but. He sold oh, that, that thing immediately. Wait, uh, on a side note, oh, if fuck. you are looking, no, because you mentioned those people who are like, oh, I can't, I can't find the green ambush in the, the new Matthews color. If you call up Saluda River, he has actually had a couple of the green ambush the last risers time we there, three. in stock. And I'm 20, sure if you called him up and you're like, hey, man, I want one of those green ambushes. You got to come like, and get hey. it. Yeah. So. Because the, the guy that I saw complaining on the Matthews um matthews bows or whatever the fuck it was on facebook right he was in north carolina he's like oh i'm waiting you know 
they just I, I had an estimate of 12 weeks before i can get an uh a VXR 28. And I'm mm-hmm. like, you need to call this place here in South Carolina. You're just about two hours from me. Right. And the last time I was there, they had two VXR 28s in Ambush Green and one 31.5 in Ambush Green. Yeah. So I was like, you need to look these guys up. If you don't want to wait 12 weeks, uh, you know, and if you just want to deal with the black strings, because if it's zebra strings, you're going to fucking replace them any goddamn way. You know, give them a call, and instead of waiting 12 weeks, drive the two hours, come and get the bow, they had them in stock. Yeah, it's it's a lot faster to just drive a little bit of ways, yeah. go to them, mm-hmm. they'll take care of you, and drive home instead of waking, waiting a couple months. And while and you're, you're there, you can pick up a sling that Steph has on the walls. Yep, mine's there too. <laughs> and honestly, if you don't see a color you want, because that OD green matches that green ambush yes. riser perfectly. So if it's not there, if you bug them enough, he just gives me a call and he'll tell me, hey, I need this color. And I'm like, okay. Well, he's got a bunch of your business cards too on the table. Yeah. And the you desk. just let me know. Honestly, though, if anyone ever actually messaged me saying that uh, they went to Saluda River and they didn't have the color, I'd probably give you a discount off of them anyway. See, there you go. So, That's another nifty little tidbit. Yeah. If Saluda ain't got it in stock, let Steph know and I'll give you a get discount. yourself a discount. Yeah. So, But no, on it, honestly, though, they're, they, he's really good about getting his orders in and trying to keep everything in stock. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's a good, good group of guys over there. We don't really talk about a lot uh, unless, because, well, everyone who's been listening to us knows how I feel about 60, 60 times, <laughs> 60 Jesus. times retarded. Yes, it's the customer service. It wasn't so much the string. It was the customer listen, service. Listen, I am all about customer service. That's how I run my Yes, you've said stuff. this 10 times already. You know what? Here's the 11th. Okay. I treat people the way I would like to be treated. Yeah. So that half-ass BS customer service that, oh, hey, you bought our stuff. We really don't give a shit because we already have your money. So whatever. That that bothers me. Right. So, I mean, it's all about how you treat people. And if you're new to listening to us, basically what happened was I had to get a replacement string for the inertia. And it was right before we had to go to TAC. I think I ordered it like, I think it was a month before we had to go to TAC. I ordered it. And I just, you know, emailed them nicely about a, about ten days about ten days later. Um, you know, is there a status on this string just in case? Because we leave in two weeks to go to TAC, and I have to have this thing restrung, retimed, blah blah blah. And of course, the guys at Saluda were the ones that did it. I think, um, actually, matter of fact, Jordan was tall the guy. That, no, no, it was Jordan <laughs> that did my boat. John wasn't there. Um, and they were like, "Oh no, it hasn't even been made yet." And we're, I'm like, "Oh." fuck man yeah you know i'm gonna be screwed now i'm you know it well in my head i thought i was gonna be screwed but the first thought in my head was well fuck you guys if you don't have my string ready i'm gonna drive the hour and 15 minutes to anderson Mm -hmm. and i'll just have archery shack make me a custom set of strings right then and there right you know and just do what i have to do to get the bow up and going because you know i mean jeremy and them guys make high quality strings for people that are here in south carolina or they actually make their strings they do everything in-house even though we shoot something with an m yes 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 <laughs> he make well he does them everything i mean he does primes he, he just hoyts matthews he doesn't give a shit they make the strings for mm-hmm. him but they do everything in the house and they do from what i understand from the re- their reputation here in south carolina they make very very top-notch strings but and that was my realization. I was like, okay, well, if I can't get this string within the next week, right? You know, I had emailed Jeremy the one time, and he said, yeah, it's three days tops, done, bow done. He has like a flat rate fee if you buy his strings with the speed knocks and the tuning and everything and all of that done. It was like, I think it was like a hundred and thirty nine dollars, and that's soup to nuts, done. Yeah, yeah. You know, so string finish. tuning, all of it, right. And I was like, all right, that's great. Then fuck it. I don't give a shit. If I have to replace them all, we're going to tack. I need the bow up and going. The fucking string showed up that day. Yeah. We checked the mail and the string was here. And they didn't even know the string had been made. I gave them the order number. So that they didn't bother the checking. They don't know what's going on. Even yeah. if they checked, one hand doesn't know what the other one's doing. I it's, mean, it's just whoever the person I was dealing with just didn't. They didn't fucking didn't bother. Didn't do customer service the right fucking way. Morons. And that's what it is. The string was a good string. It lasted eh. a year eh. on the inertia. And the inertia, no matter what I do to it, it has serving separation and shit. On but it's an aggressive ten, I give it like bow. a five. No, no. You weren't the one fucking shooting it. I watched you do it. Yeah, it fucking worked out fine. Mm, six. No, I'd give it a seven, to five, be honest. Five and a half, seven. to be honest. No, it was seven. 
Listen to me. It was seven. I know what I'm talking about. I'm the one that shot the fucking thing. It was a seven. So. Please, you're but complacent. Anyway. Okay, that's fine. You got a string on my bow. Eh, it's a ten. No, 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 no. <laughs> it definitely was not a fucking ten. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> the, the, the factory ABB that oh, was on the God. bow was better than the shit that fucking Jesus Christ. I put on the bow afterward. You got to get your name straight. Mm-hmm. It's like sun power and sunshine or shine cuts. Sun cuts and power shines. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, well, it's <laughs> sunshine and power cuts. Yeah, but I don't know. It, it, it's whatever. I mean that that's old news. That shit's been gone and done. Right now, my interest is American best bow strings, or especially right now, gas. Because well, Doug shoots gas. Don Doug, shoots Don gas. Shoots gas. Oh, and, and Doug you know, did and correct me. Doug was the first one to get gas strings, not Don. Uh, I don't know. That's questionable. No, no. He said it to me. He was like, oh, by the way, the correction is I had them first. It's like, Ugh. okay. All right, Doug. Ugh, fucking snot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, I had them first. <laughs> you got your eyepiece, you fucker? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> so. With the little cigar? With the little cigar. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the eyepiece? Yes, that's Mr. what I was Monopoly. saying. Yeah, exactly. You yes, like that's you what I was talking about with the eyepiece. Much. I just think of Ace Ventura when nature calls. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good. Do not collect $200. Do not pass go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's dancing around with them. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. And, oh, shit. What the fuck was I just going to say? Oh, I mentioned Doug and Don. God. Oh, yeah. So they went to a shoot. They went to the, a Florida yep. State ASA. And Don came in first out of five people. So congrats <sighs> on him. It was, it was also <laughs> fucking raining horribly that day. Oh, it's probably a drizzle. Yes. They probably didn't have an umbrella. No, no. They, so Doug sun, said it was raining pretty good. The sun was but in no, their no, eyes. There was a group of people that and they were- Man, shooting. if you tell him he went to a Florida course that was uphill the entire way, it was probably like a little hill that he- Like Whatever. speed bump. It doesn't matter. So, but yes, they <laughs> shot known 40 uh, in open class. Don came in first and Doug came in second. Which is good. I mean, Don is a fucking hell of a shot. He There's three really people is. shooting. No, it was more than that. <laughs> Four. Um, but I mean, it, you know, it, it, it's it's very very cool that Doug went with him. That's why I told him he's like, yeah, Donna convinced me to go, and I'm like, good. I'm glad she convinced you to go because that's a fucking hell of an experience. Now he's like, okay, so I have to get the magnifier, I have yeah. to get the clarifier, I have to. Get, da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, do it. Well, yeah, you're yeah. shooting at the pro. <laughs> Don has his pro card. No, he has a staff card. He has a pro it's card. Not a pro card. It's a staff card. <laughs> staff card. Anyway, so staff shooter. Yes. Sounds like an infection, like an STD. Uh, he's a staff shot. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's got but the staff. yes, Don came in first, and then Doug came in second, which is cool. I mean, you know, there's a whole bunch they have left for the year, right? But I mean, just being, uh, from what I understand, just Donnie getting first place automatically qualifies him for states. I don't know. It tells you a lot about that cool. crowd that showed up. No, I don't know. No, man. I, I've shot with Don. <laughs> no, I like Don's a with drilling him. fucking I know. dude, man. <clears throat> really? Yeah, that sounds like fucking... a jail term right there. No, I didn't say he's drilling, dude. I said he's a drilling dude. <laughs> okay. It's still. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound. Like you just turned into a jail fucking term. And 50% I don't drop the soap, bitch. 50% of the people listening also turned it into a. Yeah, yeah, joke. probably. Yeah. <laughs> the people that are sitting there going, where's the dick joke? Where's the dick joke? There it is. Yeah, there it goes, Steph. Turned it into one. No, I gotta. I always have to mess with them. I always have to. You, you have know a... what? If I don't mess with them, then you're like. You okay? I just like it, uh, uh, you know, just from being down there. He's like, ah, oh, you know, these twenty fives, these they don't, they don't do good at long distance. I'm like, fuck it, let's shoot eighty. <laughs> Come on, let's shoot eighty. And then he hits the fucking six inch circle at eighty yards. He's like, oh, I guess it flies pretty good. Oh, so yeah, yeah, you know, he, no, he Don's definitely a really, really good shot. Um, Actually, he can be considered sponsored now. He can, oh yes. Yeah, because I gave him a sling with no cost, so I technically oh, am sponsoring man. him. Got a sponsored Doug and Don are sponsored by us. <laughs> yeah. By fucking shooting, shooting skulls. skulls. There you go. I sponsor people now. Mm-hmm. So, which is good, and you know. Do you think I should make a little cards? Well, Dougie wants patches. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know how to find patches, man. But we got to look it up. We'll look it up. 
you know, Dougie's like, yo, you got you to gotta make me and Don patches for when we go to these events. And I'm like, patches sound like a fucking great idea. Because I got a little lab in the back that I have. Yeah, we just go online and fucking order them. I mean, Dougie got all the t-shirts and all of that shit the one time. So we, we can go online and order, you I know. I got a worker in the back your making Your shooting patches. skulls patch. Well, I mean, if you order a patch, it's probably coming to come from Asia. And it's going to be a five-year-old or 12-year-old making it any fucking way. Hey, man, there's good workmanship right there. Yeah, that's it. Hey, they're making you know, Nikes. They gotta be doing all right. No, they're making Hallmark cards. Is what they're doing. Making Hallmark cards. There's a uh, in the UK. I think it was. Mm -hmm. They found a uh, a group like a, a pack of the same card that you you could buy in like a pack of ten or twenty or whatever right. the generic Christmas card that I guess a a worker wrote a help me message. Yes, yes, I saw that because of the horrible no it labor. Came, the card came from Asia. Yeah, but they were, they were asking for help mm -hmm. because they wrote it in there because of the working conditions were so horrible. Yep. They put help in it, and then when it got packaged up, whoever opened it found it and would, you know. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you really think about it. Yeah, the card came over from, from what I remember in the article, the card came from Asia. Yeah. And they wrote about, like, the work conditions, and they shoved it in, like, the pack of 20, and someone opened it was like. <gasps> they put a reporter's name or something like that to get in touch with. Yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. I was probably doing the research on it. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. But it's not. No, we don't have any of those in the side room. No, 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 no. But uh, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, so I told Doug, you know, I still want to build a bow just to go do, you know, that type of shit. Yeah. But I think in the next six months, mm -hmm. we'll be buying a gun too a, hand, a safe and a, yeah. a gun. Yeah, nope. Well, well yeah, we got to see. We're still going go to go. We need to turn our closet into like an armory section. Like you open it up, and that is the safe. So the door is the safe. So it's like a walk in safe. I feel like a lot and of money got... is going to get spent this year. <laughs> and then we got our our bows and our arrows and all the accessories yeah, the lined party... up on the wall. And then we on the other side, we got some uh, handguns and some rifles. Yeah, but that's what the, the, the fuck like up part up. is that we both like the same gun, okay. just different calibers. And both guns together are still going to cost less than your verdicts did. I'm sorry, there's a lot of static coming through on this connection. I didn't really catch any of that. But that's all right, we can move on. What was he swallowing that fucking Mick Ultra? And? <laughs> that's the stack. That's the I'm static. not sponsored by Tito's. I know we're not sponsored by Tito's. <laughs> But if you'd like Excellent to. Excellent hashtag. Excellent hashtag. If you'd like to. Yes. <laughs> so I won't say no. No, I know. But, <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Side note. Like Bill Burr's stand up. What did he see <laughs> say with uh, this is his most recent stand up? You gotta watch it. It's on Netflix still, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. Paper Tiger. So you I think so. Yeah, Paper Tiger. I don't know, but Welcome he, to the last show I'll ever do in my life. You're messing around with a girl and she's like, oh, no, stop in that coy voice. And That's then, not how she reads. And then when uh, you're in court because she's saying that you assaulted her and they're reading it back to you, they're like, no, stop. Please don't. <laughs> That's not how she said it. <laughs> His shit is funny. Yeah, it is yeah, definitely. Yeah. I like Bill Burr. If you're, if you're not into getting, if you're not a snowflake. No, 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 no. That, that, that show would offend a lot of people. Him and Chappelle's oh, yeah. show recently. That, that was just... You know what though, Chappelle's. I like his stuff, but his most recent one, and uh, you know, compared to some of his older stuff, I didn't think it was some of his best. No, it wasn't some of his best, but he said shit that pissed people off. Oh yeah, and, and I don't he really... said it on purpose because that's exactly how the fuck he feels. And fine, that, that, yeah. that, that, I mean, it's funny felt, as fuck to me. I felt like that was just his opportunity to get up and say all of his honestly is honest comments on things mm -hmm. and just call them jokes. Whereas if you look at some of his actual jokes, they were funny. Right. And these are like, oh shit, okay. And I don't get offended by it. I don't really give a shit. No, but I no. think his stand up has been better. No, yeah, he's, yeah. He's yeah. had a the, lot the, of better his older ones are better, you know, compared to the, the new one was still great. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. You know, his, in my opinion too, also some of his older shit was better. Actually we saw an LGBT sticker that I would definitely put on our car because you saw the LGP L G B T, the All actual right letters and then above each one was a little, little uh, icon so the l had the statue of liberty the g had the uh like a i think it was an ar-15 yes it was an ar-15 and then the b had a actual mug beer. of beer mm -hmm. and then t was the trump. profile of trump yes <laughs> it was a statue of liberty an ar-15 
a fucking a stein of beer yep. and fucking Trump's head. So we are pro LGBT. <laughs> Liberty, that, guns, well, beer, and Trump. Yeah. <laughs> not to be political or anything. No, not in the slightest. No. We're not. we're pro common sense all American. Yes. That's exactly. It. We have flags everywhere. We like guns. Yeah. So, you know, and like I said, I mean, oh, we have mm -hmm. to actually, we do have to give a shout out to the range that we're at. Oh, yes. So, while we're actually, if you want to get a nuts on the fridge behind your uh, work card, I almost said it. And that would mean you'd have to actually edit some more shit out. Actually, can you get me a um, not sponsored by Michelob Ultra beer? So we actually, when we were visiting family out in Myrtle Beach this past for New Year's weekend, we decided to go shooting, and I wanted to bring my brother shooting because that's the that was actually the first time he's actually ever held a gun, which is fine. But you know, we wanted to go. I haven't, I've shot rifles before, but handguns. It was kind of like shot handguns, but it was kind of a little iffy. So I wanted to actually get a. Uh, a formal teaching with handguns just to learn the more of the ins and outs and get a little bit more comfortable than well, I was with we're, them. We're also very pro training when it comes to things. Yeah. Even now I have, I have nothing against more training with anything. More information doesn't help. So it does help. Does help. D it does. You said doesn't help. More oh, training bad. doesn't help. No, more training does, does help. help. Okay, it doesn't hurt to have more information. Right. That's kind of where I was going. So we went to the shooting range down there, and the guys that we worked with and the instructor, they were really, really good. And, and I mean, if you've listened to us, anytime we have a good experience with a shop or anything like that, especially yes. locals, we kind of like to share. With right. Our, like, and also keep in mind, listeners. we do not tell <laughs> any of these people at all that we have a podcast. No. Nothing. No, no, no. They have all no they idea know is, we are. Her name is Steph. I'm Anthony. Her brother was Matt, and Matthew. them two did a class together and had their handgun training with yeah. the, the instructor that was there. Yeah. So it's 707 Indoor Shooting Range, and they are on, it's uh, 6925 Highway 707, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Their phone number is 843 -215 -7468. And they were, if you're in that area or if you're going to be on vacation in that area, because Myrtle Beach is like a tourist area. Yes. Uh, they're very good at, if you want a, a lesson, the mm -hmm. instructors are very good. We worked with uh, Jason. Yeah, you guys had Jason and then mm -hmm. the other instructor was Matt, who Matt is also a very no, funny fucking dude. Matt wasn't, is, wasn't an instructor that day. He, they were both range officers. Right. And Matt was more familiar with the ins and outs of some of the other guns. Right. Yeah, because yeah, you had a problem with the bandit gun that they had, that nine millimeter, like AR pistol style gun. Yeah. And Matt's and, the one that fixed it. Right. But all the guys, those and two no, that we Matt's worked Steph's with. No, brother. Matt, yeah, the, the other officer. one. Or I think it was Mike. No, Matt. It was Matt. Matt was from it? Maryland, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, one was from Maryland and one was from Jersey. Right. Yeah, your so, instructor, Jason, was from Jason Jersey. Jason was from Jersey and Matt was from Maryland. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. Jason, Jersey, Matt, Maryland. Mm -hmm. That was fucking weird. Actually, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. So, if you're in that area and you want to go shoot, rent some guns and shoot, mm -hmm. and even if you want instruction, they're really good. I didn't find the prices too bad. I mean, we were in there for a while. Second yeah, day. we were in there for a while. I mean, it it wasn't a bad price. I mean, the rental isn't bad. I mean, you buy I mean, a full box still, of ammo. You're still paying more when you rent everything compared to if you bring your own stuff in. Yeah, but at least then you can try out guns before you want to buy them. Yeah, or if you're flying in from another state, I mean, honestly, you're not going to be packing your gun. You can't actually fly with it. Well, if your pistol permit allows you to go into that state that's the thing that gets tricky when you have to find all that right. stuff so yeah, if you're yeah. already in there and you're like hey i want to get away from the fucking wife for a couple hours yeah then like we did your, uh, because... your, your sister's boyfriend when we were like oh come on we're going to the range for a second day come on bro let's go listen we had to check that he wasn't a loser yes no, which he was wasn't. funny because he was pro gun and not a snowflake and he wasn't a Retarded individual. No, no. He wasn't yeah. a loser. And he was in Steph saying that because they're they're both in college. So right now we believe that colleges are kind of being run like a cult. He's 20. Yes. So, so that's that iffy phase. You don't know how yeah, he's yeah, going to yeah. be. Very, very cool dude. But yeah, we took him to the range with us. Mm -hmm. And then we had the, uh, 
Let's see. Him and Matt were on one laden. They had the Bandit and a Sig Sauer P3, 29 millimeter. And then you were on a lane with me. I had what the fuck that I have. It was a Glock, 20 Glock 27, 26, something like that. It was a 45 caliber Glock. The the day they were doing their class, I shot a Glock 23, 40 caliber, which I found out that I severely prefer the 40 caliber Glock over the 45. All right. For some reason, I felt like the the Glock 45, and I don't know if it's just the same size gun, that difference in power from the 40 to the 45, the 45 felt like it shot like absolute dog shit to me. Mm. Anyway. I had the shield the second day. You had the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 380 because the, the gun that they had trained them on with is a 22 long rifle or 22 magnum pistol, You whatever. always go with, when you have an instruction, you always go with 22s, which, right. I mean, I've shot rifles before and I'm fine with shooting them. It's just that the last time I used a handgun, it wasn't a, it wasn't from a formal standpoint. It was just from a friend of ours. And I kind of well, she knows about as much as guns as most fucking nope, trainers would nope, have. No, nope, handgun. No, no, handgun. I mean, rifle wise, I'm saying. I know rifle wise is fine, but which I'm more comfortable with rifles for some reason. I think like the bigger the gun, I'm more comfortable with it mm-hmm. as far as rifle goes. I think it's also the thing is the barrels backwards. farther away from you and all that shit. And it's like I'm trying to compensate for my height. Possible. <laughs> Very possible. Well, some dudes oh, buy big trucks. Yeah. True, but the uh, the. The, as far as a handgun, I don't know. It's weird about handguns. I feel like because I can conceal them so easily, that might and they're be the so thing. easily traveled in your like while you're holding them. Mm-hmm. That I wanted a a formal training to know yeah, but the I was ins also, and outs. I uh, feel better when I know I can take apart the gun, right? And not. I mean, just, I mean, you did really good too. I mean, the first day when you guys, you and your brother, did the training together, both of you did really, really well. Yeah. Both of you guys, the groups were really good until well, it came plus, to the double tap portion. Then well, you both were like, "What the fuck were you shooting at?" Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, the instructor also could take a joke because, yes, like your, this your podcast, instructor had a sense of humor. Yes. Yeah. It, you know, I turned everything. I started turning everything into a dick joke, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. was funny. I think I, I caught him off guard at first. Yeah, yeah. He didn't know what to say with you because he, <laughs> he he said something and then realized what he said, and, she, and you just went and completely butchered it and turned it into a, a fucking dick joke. Yeah. And he's like, "Sweet, she's one of those." Yeah. You know, I was like, "All right, this is cool. Good." He's got a, a lot sense of people of don't know how to take it. Yeah, yeah. Your brother was laughing. Um. <laughs> So, I mean, you guys did really well. You shot the 380 shield really, really good. Which but, has that extra safety. Right. You like the one with the thumb and the grip safety, yeah. which is fine. Um, But you preferred the weight. You didn't like the way the SIG shot, but you liked the weight of the SIG. Yeah. So, we're going to go to one of the ranges here, either uh, Palmetto State Ar- Armory or uh, City Arsenal. Well, that's the thing that we have to wait until we're... We have a babysitter or... Or you can just go and shoot the gun. You've shot the gun. Man, I'm weird with going play. You should know this by now. Yes, Even I know our that. range, I feel weird going by myself. Okay, that's fine. It's kind of like... Eh. 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 Well, we'll see. With, with I mean, you, it's fun you gotta to go shoot with. The ni- you like the weight of the 9mm over the weight of the 380. So we're going to have to get you to shoot a shield 9mm. Yeah. So, and I'm fine with shooting the shield nine. It's got good weight. I have held your uncle and your cousin's shield 40 calibers, right? which I know I liked and It must be just something about the weight of a 40 caliber gun. And it just feels fucking good to me. Is it overcompensating? I like the Glock 23, <laughs> 40 caliber. I don't like the Glock 17, nine millimeter. It just felt fucking flimsy and too goddamn light. So, and I know it's like a matter of like Feels too ounces. toyish. Yes. Yeah. It, it just... Like I don't know plastic. if it's like the three or four ounce difference of the gun. Listen, if you run out of ammo so. and it's heavy enough that you could chuck it at someone and it can knock Yeah, but out. with a forty cal, you have less bullets. True. You know, with a nine millimeter, like even now, like the, the only nine millimeter I know right now for a fact, besides a shield nine millimeter, that has my attention right. is a Taurus G3 because it's just a full size gun. Well, if you're a good and, shot, it only takes one. Right. But everyone's... It's a two hundred and fifty dollars semi-automatic dual action gun. Yeah, that is getting fucking outstanding reviews from people. Like right. absolutely ridiculous. People are putting a thousand well, rounds through the guns, and it never misfires once. Here's the thing, though, and they're out if of Miami, go, so if we here. can go to Texas, because I have family on Texas. Yes, so we can actually plan a trip, and I want to go boar hunting. Right. What? Uh, let's see. What? 
gun would you use? Like if we're actually bow hunting for not the actual no, rifle. You, you just said if we're bow hunting and in gun. You, you're talking about having a gun as a sidearm in case. Yes. I would rock a forty cal on me. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think You I would be a fine with a nine. You think for a boar? Yeah, it'll Both kill them. size? Yeah. You see how big they are? Yes, I see how big they are. But if you shove an arrow through one of them fuckers and shoot that bitch twice, they're going to drop. Unless he's that, like, that massive one. Yeah, well, if you shoot a Russian boar and you're stupid to stay in its fucking way as it's charging you, eh, you might deserve to get speared. Holy crap. So oh. if you are not familiar with a Russian boar, we got into the, the topic of conversation one night about Russian boars. I don't know how the fuck this came up. Boarzilla. I think we were talking about bacon and yeah, boars yeah, came yeah, yeah. up. And <laughs> you came I don't up. Know, you, you were like, after the new year, we're going to clean our diet up and we're going to go low carb and more protein and maybe like towards the keto spectrum. How do we get more bacon? Like, the only way I know is like, if you want that much bacon is kill a Russian boar. You're like, why are they big? Oh, put it in the Google. Yep. Throw it up in the Google. You have your own beer. What do no, you No, those are empty and this was the last one. Oh, so I'm my taking part of yours. God. So if if you're interested, look up Russian boars, and they are friggin' huge. Yeah, what was that one photo we pulled up? Nine hundred pounds. Holy shit! Yeah, he was gigantic. That's, they called him like Borzilla or some shit like that. It's insane. Yeah, yeah because all those those drunk bastards out in the middle of like the <laughs> the winter. The boar some yeah, vodka. they they're drinking, they're passing out, and they're freezing to death. And the boar's like, "Hey, look, buffet." <laughs> <laughs> so. he's coming over taking a snack and then that's the end of that exactly mm -hmm. but yeah they, they are big but yeah no i would definitely want to take a trip to texas and hunt there yeah you know ryu our, our buddy chris we call him ryu um me and him were joking around about getting paying the the, the 500 dollars, right and doing it from a helicopter Oh, yeah. You know, that's why you get to hang out the window like your John fucking Rambo. Just da, 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 fucking going crazy. And uh, I told him, I'm I fine with doing that shit. I just want to let one arrow rip to see if I could shoot an, a fucking a boar from a helicopter with a bow. Because I've seen it done with a crossbow. Yeah. No, I so. don't I don't think I'd be down for the helicopter. No, you, you're afraid of heights. You wouldn't no, be able no, to no. hack that shit. Correction. It's not the height that bothers me. It's the falling, it's the falling, from, falling the from the height that yeah. bothers me. It's the splat. Mm -hmm, the no, splat. not even the splat. It's the <laughs> in between. So, like, if you fall far enough, it's after you fall and before you go splat, that falling feeling of limbo of you realize, hey, I got enough time to visualize me falling and then going splat. And I got some time to think about it. It's that air time. That's what scares me. Yeah, well, that, that should scare you. That limbo. Like, ah, uh, I'm falling. Waiting for the floor to rush up at you. I'm falling and I could do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing. Unless well, you go limp and so you fall into a ball and you bounce. But who the fuck is going to just go? Well, eh, that's like, you know, relax. that's what made me laugh. Like, that, the, our, I remember from high school, my physics teacher used to always tell us, he's like, it's not the sudden acceleration that kills you. It's the sudden stopping. <laughs> It's yeah. what kills you. It's, so, yeah. it, it's not the fact that you hit critical velocity going toward the ground. It's the fact that that floor just suddenly st brings you to zero. Yeah. That's the part that's going to kill you. You know, I just had a thought. Does Saluda have Botech? Does he carry Bo Is he a Botech dealer by any chance? I know he's a big Matthews, obviously. Well, yeah. Matthews, PSC. He's got Hoyt, and I believe yeah, Botech's coming PSC, he hasn't in. really been selling too much of. Well, PSC's didn't... The, the, Oh, until Dudley. Maybe that's why he's hanging the on to his The evokes didn't sell well for nobody. No, mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the big reasons why now... If he can get the Dudley line up in... Well, yeah. I mean, those, those are probably going to move. But <laughs> We're already making something that doesn't even exist. Yeah, it doesn't even exist yet. We're not even sure if Dudley's going to PSC. <laughs> if but... someone listens to us and like only listens to half of what we say, they're going to be calling up PSC dealers. Hey, I heard you had the Dudley line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Watch him go to like Matthews or Botech or some shit like that. I don't know. He, well, he was a, a Matthews employee before Hoyt. Backstory, backstory. Yeah, but Matthews, from what I understand, is another company. Is like you better not put a photo of something that ain't ours in that fucking shit. You know that's rough to do because you know if you get someone like him that will be well rounded in in multiple bows. Mm -hmm. But if they're like, hey, I like this one of this one, and I like Prime with this, and I like Bowtech with this, but you know I choose to shoot a Matthews for X, Y, and Z reasons, mm -hmm. then that should be even better on your part because it's showing that. 
hey, you know what? I am shooting all these other bows, but I choose this one because I actually like how it shoots. I like how it does this and this. I mean, that actually actually should show more instead of saying you're not allowed to do this, this, or this. Right. Well, at least I feel. I, I know. I agree. I don't know. But then I guess their argument's like, well, we're giving you something for free, so you should advertise just for us. Yeah, but... It, but on I that, don't know, I don't man. know. It, see, that's why... I, it's tricky. I think with some of the situations of of what these people have to deal with. I think like people like Bo Hunter Planet and stuff like that who have like no obligation to anybody, but True. everyone sends them shit for reviews and they do a really good job. Chris and uh, the other dude that's there and I follow Chris online and he, he's an awesome shot too. He's a target guy. And it, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if being specifically sponsored by a company mm. can ever work to your advantage. Now that's what my, has my interest now, especially with the thing with Dudley. Where he's saying, oh, they'll let me try other shit, and they'll let me do this, and then they're going to let yeah. me influence the shit that's on their bows and this and that. And so I'm like, oh, my God, this is all sounds really, really cool. So, you know, hopefully shit works out. Well, the thing is, if you look at the bigger picture, if they're sponsoring them with one bow, mm -hmm. maybe two, that's like, what, two grand at the most? Yeah. It's under 2500 But probably the revenue that that person brings in right. is going to outweigh the amount that they actually spent on him. Right. So here's the thing that, that I don't think companies are really looking at is that, yeah, even if they talk about other bows and you gave them like one or two, you know, sponsored bows to, to shoot with, mm -hmm. people that actually see what they're shooting with and are the ones that are like, oh, look, Dudley shoots with this, so I'm going to shoot with this. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, he says these are good. They're probably making more just out of that than what they're giving out. So the whole restriction seems a little retarded. I know. I mean, it seems that it's just, it's like the controlling parent, the helicopter parent. Yeah. yeah. It has to know everything they're doing, what they're doing, mm -hmm. and say so to every single little thing. Yep. It's a little ridiculous, but. No, I agree. I don't know. Maybe some right. of the backstory kid when they're a kid and their parents didn't love them or some shit. So now that they own a company, they're like, eh. Don't leave me ever. Oh, I don't know, man. Stay with I, me it, it's just I I want to see how things plan out this year. You know, you know, next ATA is next weekend, which so there'll be a hundred videos coming out. The ninth. Yeah, the ninth or the eleventh or whatever. Uh, ninth, so, tenth, and eleventh, and I think half day on the twelfth. But it's so, mostly but the ninth. I'm looking forward to seeing all the videos that come out and everybody. You know, so between Lancaster and Archery Talk and Bowhunting.com and you know all the the people that we're subscribed to. Yeah. So you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what the new shit is that's coming out. You know, like you we said, you know, you want another site for your bow. Finally, I convinced you to finally move on with the site. Yeah, you didn't really convince me of the fact that I need a new site. The convincing will be when I actually release the money into it. That's the That's convincing. fine. Whatever. I don't care. As long as you get another site, because you need to progress. Whatever. So, but I don't know. We'll see about all the new shit that comes out. Obviously, releases that'll be coming out this year are really interesting. Oh, actually, speaking of releases, just because it was a really cool video, uh, Josh Bomar and Sarah Bomar, uh, both bomar nutrition bomar archery blah 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 blah, and archery you know the nose buttons and whatever well josh just did a video on youtube and released it friday i believe yeah no saturday matter of fact because i was talking to doug and don about it uh about how to convert your thumb button into a hinge release so you always get a surprise shot you take out the whole punching the trigger which you do you you take that whole process out of the system. No, I'm always gonna punch the trigger. I've you come don't to need terms to punch that. I'm not the in denial it's anymore. Wrong though. It's I'm not problem. in denial anymore. It doesn't matter. The problem's fucking wrong. Okay. I'm consistent. Anyway, I'm consistent. So, am I not consistent? Yes, you're consistently Thank high you. to the fucking left. Yes. That's just how I hang. So whatever. <laughs> God. Whatever. <laughs> so he they released a really cool video in which Josh shows the process that he does, and a lot of the video he's using either Stan Profex. I think that's how you pronounce it, Profec. Whatever. The stand releases or true ball releases. He didn't seem to have any true fire releases right. on the bench. So, but I mean, it's a really cool idea. And it just happens that the way he sets it up and he shows you what trigger position you have to put the trigger in and how when you rotate it, 
you manipulating it like you would with a hinge mm -hmm. makes it go off by itself instead of you using your thumb. And it, <laughs> I mean, it's a really, really cool process. I want to actually see if I can do it with the Edge 4 that we have. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to do it with it, but I'm going to fucking try it any goddamn way. I know for a fact that when I get the um, the the Synapse, I'll be able to do it with the Synapse. Have you already ordered it? No, I haven't ordered it yet. I no. usually find that out when you're in the mail. You're like, oh, I'll get the mail. I'll get the mail. I'll get the mail. I'll <laughs> be like, oh. Up. No, I haven't ordered yeah, it Yeah, you yet. ordered something. No, I didn't order it yet. When you, you, when you volunteer like that, that I know something. No, I didn't order. Anyway, I didn't order it. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's... It's a really cool video. If you haven't seen it or watched it, go on Bomar Archery's YouTube channel. And Josh did a really, really cool job explaining and showing how he changed it between the true ball uh, releases and the stand releases. So I feel like he's all archery and then she's just all the nutrition. Well, I mean, she shoots a lot. Yeah, well, he, he seems eh. to be more so the face of the archery. And she's the face of whereas, nutrition. Whereas, well, no, he does the nutrition also because, I mean, Josh is fucking jacked. Not for yeah, nothing. but not but, as much as she does it. Yeah, but they need to do it for her because it, it, there's so many fucking phony females in fitness and she's not. It's called an Instagram influencer. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking Instagram thought or whatever the fuck it's called, whatever. But... You know, most of them are fucking full of shit and she's not. She's actually really fucking strong and yeah. is hot as fuck. And her husband is a Goliath who fucking spears his bears, literally with a spear. So. You like brunettes? I don't know. I've never seen her as a blonde. You're the only blonde <laughs> I've ever been with. Never dated a blonde until you. Well, it has been, you know, 15 years. No, that's just our marriage. No, 18 years. Yeah. About 19 this. years. It's 2020. Yeah. Mm hmm Wow. So, anyway. But, I don't know. It is what it is. I mean, it, 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 it's a really cool video. Anyway, back to the goddamn video. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a really cool idea. Me and Don had a whole discussion about it while we were on the phone with, you know, I was on the phone with him and Doug after they did the ASA shoot in Florida. And when I explained to him what Josh was talking to about, even though I probably butchered whatever the fuck Josh was talking about in the video because I was explaining it in my terms, which made sense to me. Um, he's like, oh, I got to try that because, you know, both him and, I mean, Don normally shoots the, the knock-on too smooth, the hinge release, and Doug shoots the knock to it, the thumb release. So, and he's like, oh, I want to try that process with the knock to it. I'm like, right. oh, you know, that, that fuck, let me know if it works, you know. You know, I prefer three fingers over four finger releases. These guys are used to using two finger releases, whichever. I mean, I want to know if does it actually work? Because if it does, if something like that would work and I get the synapse because I'm just a true fire fucking fanboy. Right. Of, you know, in, in, then cool, whatever. So, but yeah, definitely a video to go check out. And obviously go check out Dudley's podcast about the bittersweet thing about him ending his contract with Hoyt because that was uh, pretty fucking cool. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm looking forward to the announcement next week where he's probably going to be a PSE from the way he was talking on the podcast because it's the only we'll thing see. that makes fucking sense. I guess we'll find out this weekend. Yes, we will. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty heavy weekend watching mm -hmm. all these all this shit. And obviously, I mean, ASA is starting, so whatever videos come out between... ATA. ATA, ASA, yes, whatever. ATA is going to start. So hopefully there'll be videos out Saturday and Sunday, and then we'll do another episode next weekend if it already starts. There will you know. be. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm definitely sure. Mm -hmm. So, but other than that, I'm good for today. I'm good too. All righty, folks. Have fun. Go out. Go shoot. Not your neighbor. Not your neighbor. <laughs>